Hi! Omega Chaos here again uh, with another episode of uh, Durai Omega Chaos Season 4. And this time I am drawing with my um, Melodious deck. So let's see how it goes. Of course, now the Melodious deck is basically a uh, fusion based, which is uh, pretty exciting. So I start, so what should I go for? I could go for first turn Bruma Diva, but I don't think it's a very good choice, so I'm probably going to pass at this point to see what my opponent is playing. Because if I summon Bruma Diva first turn, and my opponent play the rank 4 base deck, uh, my Bruma Diva will be costed pretty much, so yeah. Okay, opponent, something uh, setting a monster and then I can, I can close for us. So thankfully, I'm not playing a field um, reliant deck, so that's nice at least. So, probably going for Bloom Diva play here. Activate Celestial Transformation. So, now it's a Soprano, the Melodious Songstress. Then, no so many Crystal Rose. Uh, activating the effect. Ascending. Um, a more sort of the graveyard, and then activating Sopranos effect. A fusion summon. Bloom Diva, the Melodious Muse. Uh, the Crystal Rose makes uh, Bloom Diva so much more playable because then you don't have to yeah summon your a big Melodious monster to the field without using a polarization because uh, uh, Soprano can only fuse uh, with the monsters on the field, not from the hand or, or anything like that. And I think Blue Team is pretty much the, the boss monster of this deck. It can be destroyed by Battle of Card Effects, and of course, if anything battles it, that is spells want, uh, you just destroy it and if we damage check the uh, difference between this card's attack and the opponent's attack. So let's see what my opponent is going to do here. So it's raccoons like I pretty much expected. So I guess I will just end my turn. I don't think uh, there is one card that uh, gets so hard it in raccoons that's the Rank 2 monster Sky Color is Santeria. But let's see if my opponent actually goes for that. Oh, what is this card? Catnipped Kitty? I haven't seen this card before. That's kinda interesting, I guess. So, let's see... I can also banish the fusion moss from the graveyard with crystal rose and then just summon it back. So that's pretty nice, I think. And of course, like I expected, my opponent went uh, summon that card. Not bad, I guess. Thankfully, I have Rakiki for that, but yes. Well, it seems like it, I guess. They both activate at the same time, or because um, well, what? Okay. Well, that's the way it works then. Well, I guess uh, let's go next twelve, and I'm back. So let's see how it goes this time. I'm definitely enjoying this deck quite a lot. 
It's pretty nice. Oh, it also, of course, has that lock with Aria and Elegy, where your opponent really can't uh, do much. Because, of course, most uh, card effects that remove monsters from the field are either targeting or destroying. There are very few cards that can. Uh, that are uh, non targeting and non destruction. Like, of course, the most. Uh, Famous ones, Public of Fate and Madolsha Queen Tiramisu. But there are others as well, of course. So it should always. I don't like that deck, but we'll see if I can do something against that deck. One draws a card, of course. My point just passes the turn. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. I have to think about it a little bit. I think I'm going to do this. Transmodify. And suppose I'm on energy and melodious stella. Why not go all in, I guess? I don't think it's game yet, but... Actually, it is game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that, so... If my opponents don't have something like... Um, Yeah, this game over already, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Sometimes you can yeah spam uh, quite a lot of monsters to the field, and sometimes even auto came up. And so yeah, that was pretty nice. So I guess uh, let's go on next turn once again, and I'm back again. So let's see how it goes again. So far. I am doing pretty well with this deck. It's definitely not bad. Okay, I start and I think I'm going for the Aria play this time. I actually cut down Aria to uh, 2 because I don't really want to draw it in my hand. I think it's 2 is enough. So now it's my opponent's turn. My hand is not the greatest, unfortunately, but we'll see. Hmm, that blind MST. The problem with this deck is that it can't really maintain a car advantage very well. So if your your place get stopped or um, you or you lose your field, you are pretty much screwed, unfortunately. Stumbling, okay. That's interesting, I guess. Hmm. I'm actually can't even attack anyway, so I think I'm going to pass for now. I guess my opponent's playing some sort of a burn deck or stall deck. 
Oh, it's this deck. Well, I like guess that flip flop flop deck that runs out of uh, these kinds of monsters and all that that can flip themselves uh, face down constantly, then flip them back up and all that, and get uh, several effects. Yeah, this could be pretty really problematic for me, so probably I have to get rid of that messenger of peace because that will be pretty annoying. Right, okay. And just go in. Just attack all that. It's blade. Rabbit. Okay. If my opponent has Raigeki, I'm pretty much screwed, unfortunately. But I kinda had to push. Okay, it's my turn again. I guess my opponent doesn't have another stall card. Another finish chain, that's not bad. So put them in the attack position. Attack with Aria as well, so I will definitely build this deck in real life as well. Uh, once uh, the fusions and crystal rows are out in the TGG, so yeah, then this deck will become playable. I mean, it's already playable, but there are no fusions currently in the TGG. And I kinda want to play it as fusion based tech. Well of course it might get some other summoning abilities in the future as well. Well I guess we have at least uh, a time for one more duel, so back soon. And I'm back again, so let's see. I could play play Christian in this deck as well, but I don't think it's really necessary. It can become a little bit of a dead draw sometimes as well. Hmm. What should I go for? My hand is not the greatest grind, unfortunately. I'm going to just pass for now. Let's see what my opponent is playing first. Before I do anything, major. Oh, it's the Gaga deck or Gogas or something else. So it's a Gogo tour deck. I'm of course playing by a Gogo Utopia deck, of course, and I ordered my uh, Fiat spell for that deck as well, which came out in World Superstars. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing that deck in real life. Get some more parts, going for a rank 4 play at this point.
Okay, Gaga Samurai. So it's another card that, another card that, that comes out in Worst of Superstars. And it basically can attack twice. It's pretty decent, but I'm not sure if it's really that great. It can be a decent option if you have room in your Excel deck, but mostly I really don't. Because, of course, I play rank up base decks. So I get some massive damage. I think Melodius needs some uh, a search power as well because it does have uh, consistency problems as well. So. Celestial Transformation Not a bad card but I have to be very careful still So Going to normal summon a Crystal Rose And activate the effect. I think I might even cut Celestial Transformation in the future, but I'm not completely sure. I'm going to send Mozart down to the graveyard. Then activate Call of the Haunted, reviving my Mozart. Then activate the uh, most sort of effect. I saw not energy. And then pretty much go all in. Just spam the field. Yeah, revival cards are definitely pretty necessary in this deck as well. I run three Call of Taunted and um, two Oasis of Dragon Souls. I think uh, this game again, if my opponent doesn't have a back row, that is not uh, destruction pretty much. So yeah, the plays are pretty nice, I think. It definitely uh, can be very fast if you don't expect it. And Mozarta will finish this. Reckless Grid. But I don't think Gorg at all like, plays any hand traps really. So that was another, another duel. So, and this is it for this uh, episode of Durai uh, Homal uh, Chaos uh, Season 4. I definitely enjoy uh, playing with this deck. I think it has quite a lot of potential. Currently, it's a fusion based deck, but it might get some. Other than summoning mechanics in the future as well, like Synchro or Exit Summoning. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, for now, a good buy and Omar Chaos. Out.